Hey everyone, it's Chris again. I want to show off a bunch of new stuff in Rogue Party. I've released the Cursed patch. And the top thing I think people requested of me was reducing the chance for a curse to happen. I'm just going to fly by these enemies and look for chests here. Uh, the curses are down from 10 to 5%. Items now show information. There it shows question marks because I don't know what the potion is before you pick them up. Uh, and potions travel 20% faster. There it goes. And they have this new splash graphic with glass and the color of the potion. So you're going to see what this chest is. So this one says Dragon Armor 200 Life. So that's something new that you can actually kind of see what you're going to get on the item. And for magic items, it will actually tell you uh, what the item does. Besides this, I've added two new weapons to help round out the uh, the curve of DPS in the game, so you're not just going straight to the best weapons and not really using anything in between. There's a hand axe, which flies over walls potentially and hits enemies on the other side because it flies on an arc. Well, that's a lot of bad guys. There's also the serrated arrow, which is the fastest projectile in the game uh, and is quite powerful. It's definitely a top three tiered weapon in the game. Depending on how you use it, it could be the best item in the game if you're sniping opponents. I have a bunch of other things to add to the game that um, I'm not ready to, to post yet. Uh, one of them that I am ready to show you but is not in the curse patch is Punchy. So I just added it to all of my items real quick. Um, what Punchy does is it knocks enemies back. So they will, we'll see it working there. Uh, and it's a decent amount of knockback. It's not a ton. But enough to give you some breathing room when enemies are barreling down on you. And keep in mind that knockback works on bosses. So I thought this was a uh, important stat to add. I've been trying to add more stats that aren't always just plus damage in some way. So that you can have some unique builds with the various items. Speaking of items, I have a ton of uh, stuff planned. And I've been developing some new models for them. But they're not in the game yet. And I wanted to get the curse patch out while the game is on sale. Uh, so that included a bunch of nice-to-haves that I think were needed in the game and the two new weapons, uh, plus the potion updates. So guys, let me know what you think. Obviously, I'm going to get back to uh, working on the Space Knights game, title pending, I guess. That's not the best name. Uh, but in the meantime, I, I don't mind jumping on Rogue Party once in a while and adding some content. So let me know what you think about maybe like a monthly Rogue Party update. I don't think it would be that hard to do, and I could just add a couple items, a couple prefixes, an enemy here and there, uh, and maybe even a boss here and there. Plus uh, some more items that you get for repeat kills on bosses, because right now I think it's capped at like 40 or 50 kills, um, and I'd like to add more items. So guys, let me know what you think. Be sure to give me ideas in the comments like you always do. A lot of them have been implemented thanks to you. All right, good luck and have fun.